It's that time once again. I've been trying really hard to make regular Minecraft Redstone videos, but every single time I open Minecraft, I just want to play around with the Create mod. My initial experiments taught me the very basics of how all of the game mechanics work, and then my deep dive into the world of Create mod flying machines definitely taught me a lot more about how the game mechanics function. And what I've recently found out since posting this and getting a lot of comments is this this isn't really how you make flying machines in the Create mod. Turns out there's minecarts in here that allow you to place and also remove blocks. And that's how people generally make them. This is incredibly, incredibly unconventional in the world of Create, which I honestly I'm quite proud of. I came in with absolutely no experience with this thing and then accidentally made something relatively interesting. Flawed in many ways. In, in, in very many ways, there's far better ways of doing this. But interesting and i actually think we're going to be following that theme in today's video you see i just want to make a crazy satisfying mob farm you know i i love mob farms i'm really interested in the create mod mob farms are always satisfying create contraptions are always quite satisfying so pairing the two together is going to be very very satisfying arguably too satisfying in fact if you don't like being satisfied then click off this video now so here comes my first ridiculous idea now i am curious can i yes I can mount these facing downwards. So what that thing is, is a windmill bearing. And as you saw in my flying machine, I used windmills to actually power all of the contraptions. I'm going to do that here today. And I actually think that if this all works properly, this could be an incredibly simple contraption. Like this could be one of the only items that we actually end up using. We shouldn't have to use too many cogs and things, and you'll see why in a second. And that's because I plan on connecting this shaft right here, which is rotating with our windmill, into something that rotates things. And I think... Is it the... It's a radial chassis? Is it a radial chassis? Or have I completely made something up? There is, there is a high chance that I've completely made something up here. Yes, radial chassis. Here it is. And it's it's not rotating. I've forgotten how to connect this thing to things. Okay, it turns out I totally didn't need a radial chassis. Instead, I needed one of these, which is a mechanical bearing. And then I've connected that into a clutch that's down at the bottom here, which allows us to turn on and off our rotatory thing. So now if we make use of some radial chassis, then they should all rotate together. Yes, okay. Okay, and is that... It only puts ASU stress through this thing that is crazy is that regardless of size it feels like that shouldn't be regardless of size but also i'll be very happy if it is regardless of size it does appear to be regardless of size absolutely fantastic so here comes the grand master plan i chuck some linear chassis on the edge of the radial chassis and that will create a sort of sweeper which will sweep through our mob farm so let's just wait for a couple of mobs to spawn i mean i am in yeah Okay, well, this isn't a promising start. Finally, we have got one. I suppose I could have just spawned them in, but this is a lot more organic. And then if we just activate this... Sweepage! Sweepage is happening! And that is actually... <laughs> that's, that's very satisfying already. Now, I've increased the scale of things just a tiny bit. So we now have... Well, we have all the platforms in place, but also it's slightly bigger in general. And I've made it compatible with spiders too. And I would say we are onto a winner with this one. We just need more sweepers. Do we have full coverage of the platform as well? I would say we do. Well, this might just be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I mean, I love this modification because it feels so Minecrafty whilst also feeling so un-Minecrafty at the same time. Like this is this is completely out there as far as Minecraft is concerned. But it kind of fits. Either way, one layer isn't going to do us. You know, you can't have a satisfying mob farm with only one layer in it. We need to stack this thing up. And now that I'm an absolute expert at the commands, that process is actually coming together quite quickly. And I do understand that knowing how to clone doesn't make you an expert, but I'm arrogant. This looks ridiculous. This is just a big old barrel of death. But currently there's very little death going on because it's not quite dark enough just yet. So I need to build up a big old roof over the top of this thing that will keep this thing completely pitch black. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is a massive roof. An absolutely enormous and incredibly menacing looking roof. But it does look fantastic, doesn't it? And look how many things have already spawned on the inside of here. I've now given myself night vision so you can actually see what's going on. And now we find out if this idea actually functions they're not connected that was slightly embarrassing right let's try that again now we find out if this idea actually functions i can't believe the sweepers are working is there not a push limit in this mod <laughs> oh 
Oh, yeah, that's something that I totally hadn't thought of. They're getting stuck on the sweepers. Look, these guys are just chilling. They're not even fast. <laughs> oh, there's a big flaw in my design. I mean, it's still... It's still working. It's it's definitely still pumping... It's pumping mob, mobs out. But not at the... I mean, it's not bad. It isn't bad, but there's plenty still getting stuck. And the spiders are just having a completely chilled time. There... We might have to go back to the drawing board a little bit here. I mean, the design has been a success in many ways, but also a complete and utter failure in many others. And things like this happening, where where this creeper is just going for a nice ride on the carousel, that that won't do. That will not do. But goodness gracious me, does it look cool, though. I mean, let's just take a moment to step back and actually look at this thing. It is... It's pretty unreal. Yeah, there's no denying it is pretty unreal. But on the topic of things that are unreal, I've just come up with a ridiculous idea. Like, properly, properly ridiculous. <laughs> this is not efficient in the slightest, but it is going to be hilarious. So once again, we start things off with a windmill wearing. But this time, we're going to run it out into a big cog and then into one of these rotational speed controllers, which should slot in just like that. Then we have a little gearbox and then this thing, which is called a sequenced gear shift. Now, this is the very important part of this design because this allows us to program rotations of things. So we want a time delay of around about, let's say 10 seconds, and then we need to turn by angle 90 degrees in the opposite direction. And we want these things to happen very fast. Run all of this out into a mechanical bearing. And for now, we'll just connect it into some radial chassis. And then if we give this whole thing a well, it should all be working. So hit the button. It spins incredibly fast, ridiculously fast, and then it should spin back. Any second now, I guess we've got that 10 second delay. That's way longer than I thought it was. 10 seconds has never felt so long, but there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. This, this idea is very, <laughs> I'm going to warn you, it's really, really ridiculous, all right? So if we were to, you know, put slime on this radial chassis and then grab some linear chassis and just extend them out to create essentially a big spawning platform. Now what would happen there? Do mobs actually spawn on this stuff? I mean, they must do. I guess there's only one way to find out. I mean, it is now night time. Are we getting anything? Doesn't look like we're getting anything. Mobs have spawned, now we see if this works. <laughs> what, did it not work? I think, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, we might need to slow. We might need to slow things down a little bit. You know, just regular speed might have to do here. I mean, that didn't do what I expected it to, but it, it worked still. Oh, okay, I've slowed things down a little bit further. So hopefully now it should be a little bit more manageable. I don't know what's going on, but that... It didn't quite do what I was expecting it to. <laughs> But it did something. Things are getting more and more stupid by the second. But I think I'm getting to a spot where this could actually function well. We just need to go bigger. Much, much bigger. I'm actually amazed we've managed to hit the piston push limit of 2048 with this thing. So I guess we went a little bit too big then. Or did we? You see, I went into the create config file and I found that you can actually change the limit. And I've increased it to 20,000 just in case. Let's see. Let's see if this all works. I'm kind of nervous. I mean, this is an enormous platform to move. I'm assuming that limit is in place for good reason. More than likely for, for good reason. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's working. <laughs> it's so stupid. Well, I've just... That's, uh, that's 5,000 blocks just moved right there. My, oh, it's moving back. <laughs> it's moving back again. <laughs> I've just realized I've connected this to our own clock. This is never going to end. This is a struggle. I have to try and break this thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know. To, break, break. Good. Okay, well, you know, my, I know. I could see this being quite successful on servers, you know? I could see this being a quite... How am I still lagging? It's fully stopped. Okay, time to get serious now. I've just looked in the config file 
And there is a section for how fast you can spin a cog. The seriousness can wait. Whatever I've done, I haven't done it correctly. Moving swiftly on to something a tiny bit sensible. It's still, it's still going to be a little bit daft, you know, and it's still going to be incredibly satisfying. But I think this idea could actually work. So I have this really long gantry shaft over here. And on top of it, we're going to have gantry carriages that are placed around about nine blocks apart from one another. And those gantry carriages are going to have sweepers attached to them. And they're essentially going to sweep mobs off of platforms. Now, the question is, does it actually function? Well, that's not a good start. Okay, let's try again with an actual windmill bearing in place instead of a mechanical bearing. Easy mistake to make. When I hit this button, this sequence gear shift should move our block six blocks forwards and then six blocks back. They're going in the wrong way. <laughs> They're going the wrong direction. Everything is was about to break. It's also painfully slow, isn't it? Okay, let's rectify that situation. Hopefully this little setup here should work. So activate. And that, that means business, doesn't it? Oh, this actually could be... <laughs> we might actually make something that works here. We just need to verify that it does, in fact, push mobs. It does. It does, and it does a very good job at it. It is time to increase the size of this thing substantially. If I can spell clone correctly. I would say the size of it has been increased substantially. Yeah, I would say I've done well there. Now, just to connect them all up, which should be as simple as vertical gearboxes, which run directly into these. That's... Oh, does that work? Oh, that's interesting. Just looking at this thing, I feel like we might run into some slight stress-related issues here. I mean, I would be shocked if we didn't. But with that being said, I can't find any stress-related information to do with the Ganchi carriages. So we might weirdly be okay. I guess there's only really one way to find out. And you're going to have to excuse my activation method here. Because it's probably not quite right. But this... There's been some breakage. Oh, that, that, yeah, there's that. Oh, there's been, oh, there's been some breakage. But only on this front edge? No, no, no. No, there's definitely been some breakage. Have I forgotten to place in glue? That would be a very me thing to do. <laughs> okay, so first off, weirdly, it does seem like things aren't sticking together. And secondly, the reason that things broke, and it's something that I hadn't appreciated, is look at the direction of the shafts. They're going in different directions, and that's because of these gearboxes right here. I did not account for this. So that means that one layer is going this way, the other layer is going in the opposite direction, which obviously is breaking everything. So having fixed that problem in these bottom two, we're only focusing on the bottom two. I'm hoping that now things should work. I mean, it looked like they were going to, but then things didn't stick to one another. Now, is there a reason for that? If I use glue instead of slime on these, will that make it better? Will that make it function? Remember, I am still quite new to this modification, so I'm, I'm going to make little mistakes. That seems to have worked. And now we have ourselves an actual idea of how to make this system function. Why are they out of sync now? Having fixed that strange little issue, I'm now just going to run around... And I'm going to get everything fully fixed up and then cross my fingers that nothing else strange happens. Although, let's face it, strangeness is basically guaranteed. With that being said, I do want it known that if strangeness does happen, tears will also happen too. You see, I've now completely run out of ideas of ways to make mob farms using this modification. So if this one doesn't function, I don't know what the plan is. Three, two, one, go. It <laughs> has put itself all out of sync. What is this? Why? Why does it do these things? This is not the mod's fault. This is all my fault. But I just can't understand why it doesn't quite function. For every other one of these Ganshi carriages, and also weirdly... Oh no, yeah, for every... Uh, that's not even consistent. I don't really even understand why that's happened. Look, just these two are out of sync. I think the answer in reality is that I'm using way too many gantry carriages and I'm moving way too many blocks. And just the timings, the timings are causing issues. And, and, and things are getting stuck in different positions. But fear not, because I've come up with one final idea. And that is to make use of fans. As far as I know, these things 
actually do push players and also mobs and I can just gradually push them off the platform making use of air. So we've got a rotational speed controller, we've got ourselves a large cog wheel and we need to set the speed to 64 RPM and then we create a little windmill and that should be everything. Now how much stress can this thing take? I imagine it, yeah, it's overstressed. Let's see if I add some more sails to it. We are still very much overstressed. Let's reduce our RPMs a little bit, maybe down to 32. That looks like it's working and is it pushing enough? It does seem to just about be pushing enough. By increasing the size of our windmill a little bit, I've been able to increase the amount of stress that it will take. So now we actually have a decently large platform. And now we have another platform on the opposite side, which is pushing the mobs into that same central position. We could actually end up with a fairly solid little setup here. This, this set of cogs really hurts my eyeballs. Now the only question is, can mobs actually spawn where there is wind? Because that would be a bit of a flaw of the design if no mobs can spawn in wind. Can mobs actually spawn on ice? I feel like they can. They definitely can. Although now I'm I'm second guessing every single thing. Oh, oh, we got ourselves a skeleton. And immediately the skeleton has been pushed off by the wind. This is actually going to function. There's no fast way to do this, is there? You know, I, I'm not able to clone these things. And to be honest with you, they, they don't make a whole lot of sense. So I think placing them manually is the best way to go, but goodness gracious me, is it a slow process. It also looks super strange when it's all in place. I mean, what is going on here? I'm meant to be on a quest to create the most satisfying mob farm, and this? I don't know if this is satisfying. I don't, I don't know if this is satisfying at all. The corks at the back, they definitely are though. I mean, that is... I could watch this all day. I can feel myself getting mildly hypnotized by it. Anyway, that process is now all done. Our mob farm is now fully fanned up. And it's looking, it's looking daft. I think it's safe to say it's looking daft. Now there's a little bit of extra mob proofing that I need to do to prevent things like this happening. But now that that's all done, the farm itself is all completed. It is working, it is functional, and it is throwing mobs out of it. But clearly just dropping them all into the water to either turn into <laughs> I mean look at the look at the party of skeletons and zombies that are down there. This is yeah, this isn't exactly the best mob killing zone in the world. Now to rectify that situation, I'm going to be making use of conveyor belts. The old school Minecrafter in me wanted to use hoppers, but this this seems like a more interesting solution. I just hope they work how I think they do. And these definitely are a lot more interesting. And they seem to be working well. You can see this one's running and it's dumping all... How? How? How did they survive? Why are they alive? Why are they... Why are they not dead? What has occurred here? I think I might go back to old-fashioned hoppers with this one. So there we go. My satisfying mob farm has now been created. And... I mean, with the number of mobs that are flowing out of it, I think we could all agree that it is... Pretty satisfying. Goodness gracious me, when will it end? This is obscene. <laughs> this thing's actually ridiculous. Now that I've killed off all the mobs that are underneath the water, this is <laughs> this is mad. Well. Well, I never. Um, okay, I accidentally created something that's quite efficient as well. Cool. <laughs> and it's powered entirely by windmills windmills and fans and many many cogs literally all the cogs i mean look at this place it gets me it gets me scared i don't want to get my hand too close to this thing because it feels like it'll get chewed up so once again i've had a lot of fun playing around with the create mod today it's definitely been interesting i've definitely learned a lot however i think the next video that i make will be with regular redstone I'm kind of missing it, you know, I, as much as I love the cogs and I love the windmills and things, I do look forward to some observer and slime block and honey block action. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. And just to wrap things up, I want to say that today I have tried using a new piece of recording software because the audio problems with OBS have been driving me absolutely up the wall. I've had them for two years and today I decided enough was enough. This is working, however, when I get lag, it gets all stuttery. So it's still not a perfect solution. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to record with, it's driving me nuts.